Greetings, racers. Um, Project Course 2 again. And I'm going to continue with the invitational events. And the next one we have in the truck special uh, sub menu is F355 Challenge Trophy. And finally, this one looks a bit more interesting because it's a bit longer 25 laps race. Uh, of course, no practice, no qualification, um, so uh, yeah, just a race, probably formation lap, oh, it is on, okay. Uh, career settings for this one, because it's a longer race, so it's worth it, I think. We're going to increase it to 100, and we'll see how it goes. So 100 opponent skill level, I always keep the aggression around 70. And let's save the settings. Uh, I cannot change the car, but uh, I'm going to stick to this livery. I actually like it. Ferrari 355 Challenge uh, model. Uh, okay, let's let's start. Let's start uh, without any further ado. Uh, I prepared uh, a bit of a setup. There weren't many changes. Um, what was changed was the fuel level, and I think uh, I adjusted. Uh, the brake duct opening, um, it's 28th of September, this race um, in Italy. Uh, warm enough move, but it is in a very cloudy conditions. It's overcast. So the temperatures dropped a little bit. Uh, it's still 30 degrees truck, 23 ambient. So, so I need to adjust that, uh, that setup. And I think I have to start on wet. Here we go. Uh, that's probably a better option to start with. Oh, that was such a surprise. I really didn't see that coming. Um, but because of that, I'll have to pit to change the tires. So let's prepare a pitch strategy. Uh, I have a few ready here. Um, I just want to change the tires, nothing else. Let's review this one. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not refueling. I should have enough fuel to start with. Uh, change tire to slicks. Uh, The rears, uh, from what I saw, were a little bit colder than fronts on that car. So I'm going to keep this uh, pressures like that. Uh, that was saved, okay. Shouldn't be any repairs. And let's save this one. And this is our default strategy at the moment. Here we go, it's a default setup. And let's start the race. Uh, the Ferrari 355 Challenge has a six-speed uh, manual gearbox, uh, so no sequential, so that's how we're going to drive with clutch. Uh, of course, formation lap, 25 laps, uh, more than two minutes per lap in that car. So that's uh, with the formation lap, and in those conditions, probably probably uh, around an hour, maybe a bit, a bit more than an hour, depends how uh, how much slower I will be and AI will be in those uh, wet conditions in comparison to dry. So that's something to look uh, look into. Uh, an hour's race is, uh, is a nice sprint. I don't like this uh, six, eight laps races, uh, like especially in in proper racing cars. Like that doesn't happen in real life. Uh, but a one hour uh, long race in a car like this one is probably something uh, to look forward to. I hope this is going to be interesting. Uh, the starting position P19, not the greatest one. But it is what it is, uh, obviously that's why the race is 
Well, the starting position is so low because the race is uh, a bit longer, right? So they they giving me 25 laps to try to do something about it. Um, my previous experience with uh, infrared formation labs is that AI can be very unpredictable. Uh, just before forming in pairs, they they accelerate suddenly to to try to form the spurs. That's what's happening right now. See how fast they are? I cannot keep up with them. And how stupid is that? In information lab, they really placing themselves in a, in a very dangerous uh, position on the track uh, just in front of me. Well, maybe not just in front of me, but in front enough to cause a dangerous situation. Oh, those puddles are dangerous. And again, they braking just before the green light. This is also so stupid and very dangerous. But uh, I use it to my advantage this time around. Very busy here, very busy. A lot of cars. I, I think I saw some free white there in front of me. Something I want to avoid. Finding a gap here, not hitting anyone, oh my, oh my. Ah, that was a, a small touch. They, uh, they break more than I expected here. Big puddles here on the inside. See, AI is driving over them without any issues. They they are not affected by those. Uh, the physics model is very very simplified for AI. If if there is any physics model for them at all. A small touch there while overtaking. Nothing special in GT racing. We're continuing. P11, uh, okay, is that 11 to be a lucky number? Yeah, there are some puddles there also, very dangerous. And here on the inside as well. That's quite dangerous if someone tries to uh, position himself for overtaking like I did. The car to reach P9, not a bad start in positions. Uh, I prefer to be a bit earlier on brakes at that stage of the race. I'm not sure what to expect from AI. That's the first thing. Second thing is uh, I don't want to really crash. This is the second lap. How is that even possible? That was so stupid. A blue flag on the second lap. Uh, all the cars are the same. Uh, has to be a bug. An interesting one at that. Okay, I'm avoiding this inside still. The spotters look really bad there. 
I don't want to be caught in one of them. That would probably mean spin and finish in that uh, sand area. Really? For that? Oh, it disappeared pretty quickly, that's good. That... In my books, that wasn't like a... A penalty deserving. I'm going a bit slower here because I know there are puddles on the inside. Yeah, whatever. Quite a lot of uh, understeer. P8, uh, a reasonable advantage over P9, a one second to P7. You're in a good position to take him. Don't take too many risks, but try squeezing fast when you can. Interestingly slow here. Are they fast here just because they can go so much closer to that apex there? Which I have to still avoid you just the spuddles there. Too much curb, there has to be some puddles there as well. They're much faster in that second sector, or third sector, whichever it is here. Front tires are actually nice and warm, the rear tires are a bit cold. But um, I can see a, a dry line appearing. Uh, another thing I'm hoping for is that this AI is on wet actually not uh, so miraculously on slicks.
2.3 seconds, the guy in front, 1.2 seconds, the guy behind. A new personal best, great job. 2 minutes, 9 seconds, 0.7. Now I can hear this uh, standing water there when I'm driving over it. I still don't have the grip I need. Wow, they're driving away. What the hell is going on? Three seconds now. They're pitting already. That's quite early, I think. Well, no, I'm staying one more. But at least they are not on. At least we know they were not on slicks. I hope this is a good decision. I'm still not sure about those uh, truck conditions. Fastest first check you've done so far. Great stuff. Looks like not everyone went to the pit. There are some cars behind me. Just uh, four seconds behind, so... Just decided to stay on the track the same as I decided to stay on the track. It wasn't a perfect pit, but I wasn't sure when uh, should I start braking. Ready? Go! Come on, drive! That was so annoying.
a ghost P1. P2. You really hit it in Simi? <laughs> what an asshole. P3. That was a good, good pit stop. I was, I think, P5 or P6. Oh, there's still some water on the truck. But the car is drivable, that's good. Ah, it's just slippery. There are better and worse sections at the moment. Whenever it hits a bit of water, it's sliding, but uh, it's manageable. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! That was a a nice slide of the rear, which tries to which tried to overtake the front. That car is sliding a lot. Ah, there's a lot of water there still. Oh, this one is going back to... A bit of a drug race. I'm starting sliding on the slicks really badly. Oh yeah, I don't need a penalty at the moment. I rather take it slowly. There's still some water here, something I want to avoid. I was afraid he's going to hit me. Sometimes the AI does this, like ignores the fact that I'm just next to them. Another big twitch in the on those puddles. Well done, you're into the lead. Keep it up, keep it up. Okay, P1 at that stage of the race. This is lap eight. Starting lap nine. I should have enough fuel. They're much better um, on the brakes. My car is uh, very unpredictable in braking. Uh, twitches a lot. The rear is sliding a lot as well. I'm not sure this is because the truck is still wet in some places and I'm on sleek. Like there is a lot of water here, we can see, but that's good. I'm going to. Good job. Your Pull down those tires. 
at least in ass assuming that those tires actually are being cooled down in the on the water in Project Cars 2, I think they are. Still the puddles here. I rather avoid them. Holding some advantage now. A bit surprised. Not that I'll be complaining, obviously I want to win this. Ah, uh, still so much water here, it's very wet part of the truck. And here as well, fighting with the car while it's trying to snap and the rear tries to overtake the front. You're leading by three seconds over second place, that's great. Keep pushing, keep the gap. Yeah, that is definitely a nice car. Two minutes, three seconds, point eight. I'll try second gear. I don't really like second gear in that corner. I prefer the third one. Maybe the acceleration of the corner is a bit slower. No, I haven't checked that. It just feels better on the third gear there. Still a bit wet uh, here. Nice work, that's the fastest first sector. I really like those two corners, the second one being a blind corner. You really have to trust that you have uh, just the perfect speed to not to overshoot it. I prefer a bit tighter exit from that U-turn to have a better entry position to the chicane. This one is really beach still. It's very wet there. But the exit of the corner is dry, so I can have really nice exit to the uh, um, outside here and gain some advantage over them. It's 5.5 seconds now from what I can see. You're currently setting the fastest lap of the race. Keep it up. The six, six gear is only useful when driving uh, behind someone. Having that reduced drag uh, allows me to utilize that six gear, but um, in normal condition, I mean, in clean air, as at the moment, six gear seems to be useless. I could have shortened that gearbox if I knew. This water here is still persistent. Here I prefer to be more to the inside all the way through, so now I can position myself for a better entry into the chicane, especially that it's still wet.
that braking zone here is a beast. It's a lot of water there still. I could have actually increased the difficulty bit, even a bit more above the hundreds level. That's the fastest lap of the race. Good job. It's 10 seconds advantage. Why are they so slow suddenly? A bit too wide, whoa, whoa, whoa. That could have finished really badly. Luckily I reacted fast enough to cut that car before it went into that uh, wall. It really wanted to kiss it. Once I want to straight, I'll review the temperatures and everything. It's a bit safer now to go through the chicane, but that corner here, or rather break earlier, didn't take any unnecessary risk here. That the braking zone is still wet, still very dangerous. Okay, let's have a look at the tires. They all slicks as expected. And let's have a look at the temperatures. Uh, between 76 and 90 degrees depends which tires, so the temperatures are really good, the brakes seems to be fine. Yeah, the car is uh, very stable at braking here, so it had to be the wet conditions still on the first laps on slicks. Don't have any problems at the moment with instability. Still a bit white here. Yeah, I know. Unfortunately, I have to take it. Uh, I don't want it one second. And I think I lost much more on uh, on slowing down or not accelerating to keep that uh, to get rid of uh, penalty or possibility for penalty than actually gained by going wider. I think I lost as well by going wider. So. A bit stupid, the whole system. But unfortunately, I don't think it can be done well, different. I don't think it could have been done better. When it was designed, it has to be automated, right? But maybe, maybe with the development of the AI as it is, as it progresses, maybe we'll have a better penalty system in, uh, in the future racing games, hopefully. I would love to see the use. I would love to see the use of AI for things like that, like uh, a very, let's call it, intelligent uh, penalty system in Sims or Team Kids games. Maybe better uh, AI of the. of the AI drivers as well, that would be really nice. That corner is very tricky actually, it looks like you can accelerate earlier than you can 
actually do it in and if you will accelerate a bit too early there it will throw you way to the outside and you will go out of uh, truck limits and you will get a penalty so it, uh, it plays tricks with your mind at one particular corner at right hander there I really like that car. It's, uh, it's really cool to drive, actually, the Ferrari. I like the fact that it's an uh, H-stick. Gives me a bit more to do. Looking at the deltas, uh, it looks like the times are uh, stabilized now and they're quite consistent. Still a bit twitchy here in the chicane especially in the left hand side now, uh, but I'm still avoiding the right hand side. Ah, it's getting better here. I think I may start uh, breaking a bit later there. It's not as wet as it was. It's drying nicely at that section, at the braking zone. 11 seconds uh, on the straight, even 12, but that obviously fluctuates, depends on which part of the track I am relative to the AI drivers. No, oh, much better this time. I just have to be patient here. Which is really hard to do sometimes. Still water here, that annoys me because I cannot go as close to that apex as I want to. Oh, my headphones uh, just inform me that they're dying. Hopefully they will last for the rest of the race. I increased the volume a little bit, uh, I got used to the sound of the car and uh, it wasn't loud enough any anymore for me. I really like to hear that roar of that engine. I think it's V8 in that car. Oh, that's interesting. I, I, uh, the position chart in the left uh, lower corner showed me the last driver now. Yeah, there is less water now here. I think I'll be able to carry more speed for those corners soon.
just look at the tire usage. The left front is the most used, the rear right is the less used. But it's still looking good. That's lap 17. I love when the message pop ups. I don't know why PlayStation doesn't recognize the wheel and pedals as uh, input. That was 2 minutes, 2 seconds, 0.459. Oh, whoa, 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 oh, whoa. That was a big one. some water here It's pretty cool to see those cars on the other section of the truck. Much better this time. I don't know what happened with the previous lap. There was a big slide there. I think I wasn't braking uh, hard enough in the initial stage of braking and then I had to brake stronger while I was downshifting to the third one and that's what caused it.
bit too wide here, far away from the apex. I'm really surprised that there's still so much water in that chicane. Missed the apex again, went too wide. Pretty uneventful uh, end of the race. It's just uh, racing with my own time at that stage. That's the fastest first sector time. And by a huge margin as well, actually. Half a second almost. Switched again there. Had to cut it.
four more laps to go after this one. Point, sir. Lap. It was two minutes, one second, point six to seven. Really good lap, I think. Especially that those uh, front tires are already quite used, uh, the left one especially. Completely honest, I should be just managing now everything till the end of the race, and I shouldn't be trying to push. What an annoying thing, that pop-up window. I slide through that corner. Ah, you see, going so close to that apex, both wheels is just not safe at that stage of the race. Uh, three laps to go, that was unnecessary. <laughs> yeah, I won't be taking any penalties, I want to have a clean finish. Just going to check, the engine is 99% good, so there's 1% off, 4 with is 20, 3 laps, 2 laps to go. <laughs> exactly, second slower. Nice. Uh, 
the water stayed here in that section for the whole of the race never dried out and the chicane as well had to be a strong race uh, sorry had to be a strong rain before this race uh, that, that was a bit too wide I'll get penalty warning yeah here we go I made a mistake here, I was braking with uh, left foot, couldn't change the gear. Didn't have my uh, left leg on a clutch. And that will be a final lap. Final lap. We're sitting pretty. Just keep it on the island and I'll see you in the second flag. Five liters of fuel left, so at least I calculated fuel quite late. Quite well. One extra lap of fuel left after this lap. There's still water there. Just felt it. Quite a big advantage over the second uh, 30 seconds. I didn't see that coming. If I knew, maybe I would set it up to 105, maybe 110 percent, the difficulty. But 100 was good enough. But to be honest, I thought it would be much worse in the wet. And that's it, 25 laps. Uh, 2.7 liters of fuel left after that uh, final, final lap, after crossing the finish line. Around 40 seconds advantage over a second, I think. Uh, the oil and water temperature were good, actually. Quite low, could have been uh, higher. But I didn't change the uh, air duct uh, settings at all. So it was default probably fully, fully open. Uh, that's why they quite cold. That was a pretty cool race, really enjoyed it. Uh, it was a bit boring at the later stage as I uh, gained a huge advantage over a second, but that was expected. That car was just so nice to drive, electric now.
You've won the race! Fantastic drive! Oh, what happened to that guy? Ghosted. Uh, the car was quite dirty. 44 seconds advantage. Uh, wow, the best lap times were a huge difference. They were so much slower. I don't know why. Uh, that's unfortunate. Um, but yeah, I won't be repeating lap. 53 minutes, I said around an hour. So uh, yeah, it was a bit less. Uh, that was really enjoyable. Uh, just driving by itself was really cool. Uh, really enjoyed that car. And that's a 355 Challenge Trophy done in that Ferrari. Uh, another inventational event completed. Uh, I don't think I'll be driving anymore today, but I'll definitely have a look what's next. It's a 24 hour Le Mans experience, which means it's a 24 hours lease. Wrong, forget it. Not today, not, not anytime soon. There are two. So it's the Spirit of Le Mans, and it is the uh, 24 hour experience. That's a bit crazy. And then we have 2.4 hours of Nürburgring. That will be cool. And LMP challenge. LMP challenge is 30 laps. Okay, so I think I'll be doing the LMP challenge first uh, at 30 laps. And, um, oh, there are more. I completely forgot about it. I'll go as this. Uh, I'll do the 2.4 hours of Nürburgring next. That will be pretty cool. Uh, that actually is a practice in qualifying. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I won't be doing LMP1. I just don't like LMP1. Um, I'll be doing probably GTE. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, great, perfect. Uh, for all of you who actually spent at least a minute of watching that, thank you very much. Uh, I really appreciate. And uh, I'll see you next time. Have a great, great, uh, Great Friday, because that's what it is today. Uh, great Friday, Easter Monday, uh, for day long weekend. Really, really cool. See you next time. Bye.